What's up guys, it's your man Chef from Off Dome, back in for another video, and today we're talking about Tory Lanez and how he says he's going to expose Interscope Records. Um, first of all, you can't expose anything about Interscope Records, sir. I'm a fan of Tory Lanez, but this is how it comes across to me. One, I'm pretty sure most people know that record labels are pretty shady at this point, at least most of your hip-hop fans. If they don't, they're pretty naive, because we sure already know that... Labels do give you the worst contracts possible. They do not promote artists like they should. And number two is, who expects anything good from Interscope or Universal as a label at this point? Like, seriously, Def Jam is a piece of crap. Interscope is barely making it, and Republic is the best record they have. The best record label to sign to in these days, if you should sign to any at all, which I don't advocate for, but if you are, at least do an imprint type of deal or some type of split. But the best record company to do business with at this point is Sony. And the reason why I say Sony is because look at RCA, look at Epic Records, and look at Columbia. Let's look at the rap artists in particular. You have 21 Savage doing pretty well. They promote him well. Travis Scott's one of the biggest rappers in the game. Future was one of the most influential and biggest rappers of the 2010s. You have DJ Khaled signing Epic Records. You have French Montana. Columbia, you have Ross, of course. You have um, Polo G and Lil TJ. Look at all the crop of new upcoming rappers. They're getting self-promoted. They're able to have more creative control over the videos and the singles they drop. And I think it's an overall better experience over there. RCA, look at how they repair Chris Brown's career. If that doesn't say how good they are, then like I, I don't think if, it, if Chris Brown was signed to Interscope, do you think that he could have a return like he did? No, RCA did that for Chris. So I think RCA is a decent label. They have Khalid coming out of there. They have Normani. They have a lot of budding talent. In the scope, when we look at their track record, look at who they've had over the past 10 years. Oh, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Selena Gomez. Okay, one, all three of those people all had co-signs from bigger entities. J. Cole had to co-sign with Jay-Z. You think that J. Cole would be that big if Jay-Z didn't co-sign? Think Interscope would promote him? No. Kendrick, he literally had the backing of Dr. Dre in half of California. So, without... Them, I'm pretty sure Interscope wouldn't push this music out there. When you talk about Selena Gomez, she was literally a reality TV show star, a Disney Channel star. She had a following. We look at Republic Records, Drake, Nicki Minaj, Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift. These are all people who had backing by somebody else or was part of a TV show or was already big before they signed to Republic. We look at Def Jam. I don't have to say anything more. Justin Bieber and Big Sean are carrying that label. Logic is considering... He's always having consistent failing numbers in album debuts. He went from having 200K to 160K. Now he's at 88K. His album's not even on the chart anymore. He doesn't have any top 40 singles. He's pretty much wiltering out. YK Osiris just had a flopper of the year album. Alessia Carr has been a huge flop the last two years. A huge disappointment. There's nobody really left on the label who you can look forward to. So, well, I'll do respect, Tori. You don't have to expose Interscope Records of anything. Because we already know that they're not a good label. And if we even go far back, a little bit further, let's say Soldier Boy. People use that. They said they, they're the only label that Soldier Boy could have signed to to make him as big as he is. I dispute that, too, because with his online viral dance, he kind of came to fame himself. Def Jam, Justin Bieber, um, Hello, he came off YouTube. Big Sean had a co-sign by Kanye West. Kanye West had a co-sign by Jay-Z. Jay-Z, Def Jam hasn't done anything good since helping Jay-Z build Rockefeller Records. And then Jay-Z went and flew with that. So I look at Universal as a whole, as a company. You can't tell me that these guys are a good group of labels. Yeah, at the end of the day, all of them are shady. All record labels are shady. But when it comes to Universal, I'll go over to Atlantic before I go to any Universal label. And that says a lot. I don't even like Warner Brothers like that. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that um, notification bell, of course. And we got new videos coming for you pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We've got three coming for you today. I am Chef from Off the Dome, and I'll see you later. Peace out.